Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. Welcome to the uh, radio and CG and radio setups for the uh, and the uh, afterburner setup, three wing afterburner for the Avanti 2. All right, version 2, 80 millimeter. Now, I used my same setup for my original Avanti and it, it works, looks perfect. All right. Um, everything was trim out of the box with the exception of I had to do a little bit of sub trim on the ailerons to get them even. Other than that, it's almost perfect. Now, let's go over my radio setup real quick and then we'll talk about other things. All right, now I'll try not to talk so loud. For my rates and expo, I have on my high rates, I have 100% for my ailerons with 30% expo. And this is the same for uh, the elevator also. My mid rates are 80% with 30% expo. Low and then rate. my low rates are 70% with 30% expo. High okay. Rates. Same for the elevator, but I'll go ahead and show them to you. High, mid, mid rates, low. low. And then on rudder, low is 75, mid rates. 85 for mid, High rates. and 100% for um high rates on the rudder okay now to show you my flap settings what they look like on the radio for flaps all the way up or negative 100 percent for takeoff flaps negative 50 and then landing was a positive 25 with a 15 percent down elevator mix now let me show you what that equates to both rates and flaps on the plane. Okay. Now, we get move the camera a little bit where you can take in all of it. All right. Now, go over flaps first. Take That's takeoff flaps. Landing flaps. Landing flaps. Look. I'm going to do that again. Look at the elevator. The elevator. Okay. Flaps. Flaps up. That's that negative hundred. Negative 50, and then a positive 25, and the elevator went down by 15%. Okay? Now, here's high rates. Look at the elevator. Look at, look at the control service. This is high rates. Okay? This is my mid rates, which is that 80, 80. And this is my low. This is my low, which is 70 over 30. Okay. All right. High now, to show you, continue on with the afterburner setup. Remember, we I showed you how to hook the afterburner up, how you fish the wire through. Okay. They do provide you with a Y. Y, Y. Okay. Patch does fit awfully tightly on there. Okay. You put that Y in with your throttle. Okay. And I'm going to, I've already calibrated the SC, but we'll go over that procedure. Just, it doesn't, doesn't hurt to do it again. All right. The motor. Go to on. Motor's on. Okay. Keep the motor on. Disconnect. And since the ESC and, see right here? Remember that wire I showed you? That's connected to the radio, the, the balance lead on the uh, battery. And then the other half. Is connected on a Y on a throttle cable. Okay. Okay. Unplug your battery. And this will calibrate the afterburner and the ESC at the same time. Disconnect it. Motor was in the on position. Move your throttle all the way up, high throttle, and then you're going to hear two beeps. As soon as you hear the two beeps, pull your throttle all the way back down to zero again. back down and the cell count. Now you have immediate thrust and the throttle, the afterburner doesn't kick in until you're above 25%. So in other words, while you're taxiing around on the, on the, on the lane, you're not, your afterburner is not going to kick in. But once you get up over 25%, now it's going to get real loud. Hopefully it won't blow the camera down. Let me uh, kind of put it off at an angle, all right, but you'll still be able to 
See? <laughs> Moving the whole camera. You got to get it up over 25% and the afterburn kicks in. When you're at 100%, it is super bright. You can even see it on the outside of the plane through the foam. Now, let's put the hatch back on. Well, real quick, I'll show you where I put my... I put the Lemon RX Gen 2 non-stabilized receiver. It's just a plain Jane receiver, just got good solid signal. I put one of the of the antennas going off uh, to this way, and the one going straight down and curving back up. That way they're at a perfect 90 degrees from each other, giving me the most diversity on the uh, signal. Put my hatch back down, okay? talk about CG. We're going to do the CG with a gear down. Remember the CG marks are directly underneath the wing here. Okay, with the gear down, we're going to kind of hold it. You kind of keep trying to get the shirt off of it. I don't want that to influence it. Okay, and it's pretty good right there. Okay, let me show you where that trans, what that looks like. If you put that battery basically almost uh, almost all the way forward so you can see where I've got that 5,000 now let's uh, put the gear up and turn her over and we'll CG it the other way I mean I, I for every person that tells me you should test the CG with the gear up I have the same amount of people tell me you should test it with the gear down so I do both Okay, my CG is basically, I mean it's marked, but I can't really see it on the other side of the wing. It's right about there. And that's, that coral, I'm looking at, I'm just, you know, looking at the way I'd be at the field, and she's pretty perfect right there. Now what I would, what I would like to see, is when I put my fingers on the CG with the gear down, I'd like to see her go, want to be just slightly, yeah, just ever so slightly tail heavy because that's going to help me with my landing and my flare. Okay. Now, while we have you here, okay, real quick, we've covered CG, which is marked underneath the wings. I don't have the actual numbers. I'm going by the, the CG mark on the wing in a correlation of the battery. I'm picking it up, and she feels great. So I'm leaving it like that. Um, we've gone over the rates. We've gone over uh, how to calibrate GSC, and we've gone over setting up your afterburner. Now let's do something that I do on these models. You're going to cringe when you see this. I'm going to actually poke a hole through this. But what I like to do is you see here. I'm going to poke a hole through here. Okay. Until I get to that hard plastic. Okay. I'm going to feel that hard plastic. I'm starting to see a little nipple come up. Okay. I'm going to Kind of keep drilling that. All right. I get that. I want that to poke through, but not make a huge crack. Almost like I'm drilling it. And I don't want to poke through my finger either. Right. Well, that's that's being hard. Let's take a knife. I'm showing you what I'm doing. I'm doing the antenna mod. Okay. All right. And that way, I got me a nice little clean hole poked through there. And then I take a black zip tie, okay, a smaller one. Oh, right here. And I'll show you what I do with this. Take a small black zip tie. I've been promising to do this. You take your zip tie, put it through itself, okay, like this. Make, make a little knuckle there, okay? That's just a large uh, section. Take you some glue. The glue that they provide, which is the best glue in the world. Put it down there with that hole that you just made. Okay. 
take your zip tie and push it through to where it's going to angle back. Like that right there. Okay, and pull it too. Okay. And now, that's nice and glued in there. If you notice, it's starting to, start to pull through. So let me push that back there. Okay, that's not going to come through all the way because of that hard plastic. Then I'll take a piece of shears or crimp, crimpers and cut that off. And now I've got this little black, something I can grab a hold of. Because when you, when you do this, you're going to have to keep grabbing it. You're going to get your fingers all over it. But look at here. Now i got that to grab a hold of. And it looks like an antenna. So. <laughs> all right. And that's my antenna mod. I do that to almost everything that has a tight-fitting hatch. I do that to. I've lost my blue, blue cap. Let's go over the features of the plane real quick. All right. Nose cone comes off for transport. Okay. The improvements of this plane is, is obviously the power system and the, the reverse ESC is now standard. Um, I'll put in the description of this video, the three videos on the, or the videos on this, I'll put in all the plane specs and a purchase link. Now, I am not an affiliate with Motion RC. This plane was $399, and that's what's going to cost you. It cost me $399. Okay, so I'm not getting anything for, for doing this. But I'll put a link in there, that way you go right to the plane. But from the website, I'll pull, I'll copy and paste all the specs to this plane and put it on there for your convenience. But look at the cellar gear. Notice how tightly that closes, okay? This hard plastic all the way down, and they put wood inside this vein to make it more stiffer, to where you're not going to mess it up. Um, improved... ESC, improved motor, um, like I said, I, I think it's slightly smaller than the original Gen 1. Uh, the gear is, is shorter, closer to the ground, it's supposed to be a little beefier, so great for grass, but definitely sits up high enough where it shouldn't have a problem. But that is just one mean looking, awesome looking plane. Um, like I said, the only mod... And it's got a very shiny finish to it. Um, the gray paint is painted on, not bare foam. Okay, that's, that's, it's painted. And then every, it's just, just a really good looking model. It's just a really good looking model. And I'm sure it's going to fly just as well as it looks. Um, I do not have the need for a stabilized receiver. This plane is so stable. I, know, I already know that. The Avanti design is a very stable anyways, a stable design, and I absolutely love the Avantis, and uh, so I don't feel the need for a stabilized receiver, I just don't think it needs it, but, uh, and everyone every that flies it says no, it doesn't need it. I'm going to run on the 5000 um, right there, and there you go. Let's see, let's go over what we've covered. We've covered how to hook up, how to calibrate your uh, ESC and your uh, afterburner at the same time. We talked about in the previous section how to install the afterburner. We put the model together. We unboxed it. I think we pretty much covered I'm sure I'm leaving a ton of stuff out. I've showed you what my throws were. I've showed you what my rates are, how the CG works out. It's already marked on the wing, so you don't really have to worry about anything. It's pretty much spot on. And, uh, and do your antennas at uh, 90 degrees. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends. And then, on to you.